stop the future? You're just a thief. No. A man, man. Reject scientists turn insect avenger. Who is Ant Man? Due to the abundance of history, we will primarily be following the events of Tales to Astonish issue 27 in 1962, Tales to Astonish issue 35 in 1963, The Avengers issue 1 in 1963, Avengers issue 16 in 1965, Avengers issue 57 and 58 in 1968, Avengers issue 181 in 1979, and Marvel Premiere issues 47 and 48 in 1979. In Tales to Astonish issue 27, Hank Pym was on the verge of uncovering a new type of particle that could manipulate their own mass at the atomic level, but when he shared this astonishing news with his peers, they all laughed in his face. Angered by their skepticism, he used his newfound particles on himself, and in doing so, he was shrunk down to the size of an ant. In surprise and horror from the reaction of the particles, Hank was faced with a new problem. While managing to grow back to his original state, he was attacked by an army of ants, but to his success, he grew just in time. Eight issues later, it furthers the development of Hank's new situation by showing he has gained control of his particles. He labels the new particles after himself, the Pym Particle. These Pym Particles allow the user to shrink and grow at will, but in this, retaining the normal amount of mass and strength as he would when he's in his normal state. After Hank Pym's last encounter with ants, he constructs a cybernetic helmet to communicate and control armies of ants. Using his new abilities, he of course takes on the KGB. Within the same year, one of the greatest hero teams was launched in the Avengers Issue 1. As Hank Pym dons the identity of the Ant-Man, he teams up with legendary heroes like Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, and Wasp to defeat the Norse god of mischief, Loki. In doing so, he became one of the first Avenger members, unlike Captain America. Liar. It's only in Avengers Issue 16 where Hank Pym, who no longer is under the Ant-Man guise, and resigns from the world's mightiest heroes for a short time. Now for a small tangent. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it is known that Tony Stark and Bruce Banner create Ultron to assist the Avengers in protecting the Earth, but in the comics, it's slightly different. In Avengers issue 57 and 58, it is revealed that Hank Pym was the original creator of Ultron, the nihilistic automaton. Hank would later be driven by guilt for creating one of the world's most dangerous villains. In Avengers issue 181, a man named Scott Lang is introduced, and his character is later touched upon in Marvel Premiere issues 47 and 48. Scott is a former thief, but returns to his criminal ways as a last resort due to the growing illness of his daughter. Scott broke into the former Ant-Man's house, Hank Pym, and came across the original Ant-Man suit. Scott swiped the suit and disguised himself as the Ant-Man. Scott, while being the Ant-Man, broke into a research facility and came across a doctor in need of help. Scott saves the doctor who coincidentally is also the only doctor who can cure his daughter of her disease. Scott feels wrong for stealing the suit and attempts returning it to Pym. But Hank was aware that Scott was the one to take it and was also aware of how he saved the doctor's life. Hank lets Scott keep the suit as long as Scott promised to uphold the law. And so the new Ant-Man was born. If you want to know more of this size-shifting superhero, be sure to subscribe to Infinity Arc. If you want us to cover an origin of any specific character, comment below, and thanks for watching.